Hello everyone. So in this session, we are going to see about generate of delay timer. So basically, this timer is used to turn off the output after a particular delay. So we'll be providing the delay in turning off the output. So in the previous lecture, we have seen about T on timer, which is basically used to provide delay in turning on the output. So here we'll be looking at how to provide a delay in turning off the output. So how to use this timer let us check okay see here some of the points are given you can use the generate of delay timer instruction to delay re resetting of the queue output by program time pt so obviously as per the preset time we'll be setting the timers time right when the signal state of the input changes back to one the programmed time PT starts okay so when you are taking off the power okay then only the timer will start so how to do it let us observe in the software okay so here we are having the network so let me create some tags first okay so here we'll be requiring one start tag okay start start okay so this is an input Similarly, we will be requiring one LED here. So it will be the output that is Q0.0 will be taking here. Okay, and then finally we will be having an elapsed time. Lapsed. Okay, so it will be basically it is a memory double word will be taking here. Okay, and here we will be requiring is what is the requirement here we will be taking it as double word okay so in this way right so all the tags have been created now let us go to the main organization block so here what we will do is i will take one nano in order to start the input okay start okay and then we will be taking the timer so which timer is required now this is t of timer right so here we are having this t of timer that i will be taking it here okay so again we need to create a data block so i'll just click on the okay so automatically a data block is created and timer is here now so what is required now the last thing is our output okay so what we'll do is i'll give an output address as q0.0 okay and here what we'll give is this is pt that is preset time that is the time which is required for this output okay so how to control let us that will be seeing now uh, let us take some 10 seconds of delay in the timer so it is 10 seconds right now what is what is the requirement of elapsed time it is md0 right okay so in this way we have created this network so our network is ready now now let us download this program okay so it will be getting downloaded after downloading let me go online okay after going online let me go to the monitor mode after this let us check what is going to happen so let me turn off it first so i'll make you understand how it is working let it go off okay now it is off now let us observe how this is working so here what we'll do is i'll just start the input okay so i am just turning on the output so basically what is happening this is off delay timer so when you are starting the timer instantaneously itself the output will be in the high state that is as soon as you turn on the input the output will be in the high state now when you are releasing the input then the timer will start okay so this time will run or elapsed time will run when we are releasing the input so when elapsed time again is equal to the preset time then only the output will be in the low state so basically what will be uh, the initial state let us try uh, see how it is working 
I am releasing the input that is I am taking off the power from this timer now. So what I will do is I will just take off the power. Okay. So I am taking off the power and see here the timer is running. So basically the output is still is in high state. So it will turn off after 10 seconds. See here how it is working. So in this way we are able to observe that we are providing a delay in turning off the output. So again let us check. So instantaneously when I am starting it the output is in high state. Now I am taking out of the power. So still the output will be in the high state. After completing 10 seconds only the output will be in the low state. Okay. So in this way this is how we are using T of timer. So in order to provide a delay while turning off the output we will be using this T of timer. Okay. So the next timer here is T on timer. Uh, T on TONR basically it is a retentive timer that is a special case of T on timer that will be looking in the next session. Okay. So thank you.